everyone, welcome to the second episode of the Falling For Yourself series, and happy Friday! I hope your week went well, and I hope that you have a fantastic weekend. Today we'll be doing the second section in the Falling For Yourself workbook, so this is what we did before. And now we are going to be working on Know Yourself, pretty much how to get your, to know yourself better. Now before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss content like this one, and also make sure you hit this thumb, the thumbs up button <laughs> um, if you enjoy this series, this video, etc. And if you haven't grabbed my workbook yet, link will be in the description down below. And if you haven't seen the first episode yet, I will leave a card right here so you can go watch that first and then you can watch the second one or you can watch the second one and then the first one. Doesn't matter, but whatever floats your boat. So before we get started though, I am going to doodle on the first page in my workbooks. I encourage everybody to doodle on each page. So today, I'm not going to take out markers and get all fancy with it. I am just going to be using my blue Bic Ultra Round Stick Grip Pen um, to doodle on this and then I will show you what I doodled before we get into the section. <laughs> So I just doodled some starts, uh, starts, <laughs> I meant to say stars and hearts, not starts, <laughs> um, but anywho, um, and then I wrote who are you because that's basically the premise of knowing yourself is who are you, like who are you? And um, this little thing down here says getting to know yourself is the basis of self care in my opinion, yes learn or doing stuff by yourself is a way of you know loving yourself but this is like the step that I feel like that not a lot of people get to after they actually spend time with themselves so let's get into this section so this one has a lot of writing in it by the way this particular section because you're kind of realizing of who you are and everything. So I put this little speech bubble here and it says who am I and why am I here? That's another part too is like what is your purpose? This is another thing that we will be discussing in this chapter. Besides alone time, there are some other ways to get to know yourself. Benefits for getting to know yourself. Get to know why you feel emotions for certain things. Better mindset for success. Increase self-awareness able to describe yourself better to another person and you love yourself more and that's the whole basis of this workbook. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my personality. So some journaling questions to ponder about and I made them all kind of gray because I don't know I liked having that sectioned off look. So first what we're going to answer is what five to ten traits do I feel define me? Get you out of my mind. All right. What five to ten words would others choose to describe me? I can't get you out of my mind. It's like a Which role do I play in my group of friends? Oh boy. It's like I feel it for the first time. How would a stranger see me? Um. What do I want others to think about me? All right, next page. Another way to get to know more about your personality is to give some thought to the major decisions you have made in your life, both good and regrettable. Oh boy. What are the major choices you have made? Like it was the first time to remember, can I take you there? You're what I need. Why did you make these choices? Take you there. Which more authentic expressions of who you are? 
and then the one made under pressure from others. Alrighty. <laughs> Another thing to do is consider how your past shaped your future. Uh, fill in the circles of how your past self and future self combine, create your present self. Oh, I love this exercise that I did. Okay, I'm just trying to see how much more I have. This is a pretty big section, so just to let you know. Alright, I am going to fill this out now, and then I'll share with you guys what I came up with. So like poor mental health, friendship issues, ran away, mental health hospitals, mental health programs. I used to write a poet, a lot of poetry and journal entries. Um, art was my medicine. I was a YouTuber. I had social anxiety, phobia of cars and driving, and I was in a lot of toxic relationships, romantic and otherwise. Um, in the future, I would like to be a mental health advocate, a therapeutic art instructor, an author, a YouTuber, sell art in cl art classes and products, be married and have kids, and travel a lot more. And I noticed that my big focuses right now that I should have are ones that I already kind of have. So like mental health, that's a big one for me of my own and, you know, advocating online and stuff like that. Artwork, sorry for my dog in the background, um, artwork. I do that on a daily basis. YouTuber for both. Um, I'm still obviously a YouTuber. Writing. I've been working on my workbooks and everything and I definitely want to continue writing stuff. And love. Self-love. Love of my family. Patrick. My boyfriend I should say. And just like love is also a big part. So. That's a really cool exercise. I would highly recommend doing that. If you don't have my workbook, just like do this exercise. It's really nice to see what your current focuses should be. And if they match, then you're on the right track. And so I guess I'm on the right track. Um, so let's see. Your core values. Psychologists, based on their studies, have suggested that people should have around 8 to 10 core values that guide you through life. In most cases, these will be the morals that you have for your life. Honesty, compassion, trust, etc. List your 8 to 10 core values here. Did your parents display these values for you? Or did some values come from your own personal experience? Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Um, and just kind of, you know, focus on my passions and what I want to do for the rest of my life. Alright, journal. If you start to if you start to write in a journal in a on a daily I meant on a daily basis, not in a daily basis. It's the core exercise to self-reflection and getting to know yourself better. You can start to break down what you think a certain way or how you talk to others. You can also draw and create collages in your journal. Be creative. Write a list of some of the things you can journal about. I started it for you. Daily writing about each day and what you did. Write about what you dreamt about. I think this is the last question actually. Oh no, we still have a little bit more to go. We have this and then two more pages. So, identify your strengths and weaknesses. What are your strengths? What do you like about yourself? What have others told you that you are good at? I'm going to write this down real quick and then I'll be back. I'll get you out of my mind. Alright, so I said organization, communication, empathy, optimism, wisdom, art, and writing. For sure. And then now I will write about my weaknesses. You 
Holding so tightly to only a memory.